Do you think that is why the fans, from the offset, you know, they had this promise of 60 days in if spade in the ground from George Steele. Do you think that was why the fans almost turned against you quite early on? Well, we, we, we presented the new stadium plans in August of 2007. Uh, I was in Liverpool. Their fans came up to the stadium. We had big uh, videos of the new designs, and people liked them. I think uh, what happened is the people that wanted to be angry at Hicks and Gillette for whatever reason, uh, that's just one of the things they picked up on, and they kept talking about the old stadium design, but they didn't talk about what the reality was. We had a we have a chance to build a world-class stadium in Liverpool, and I hope I hope the group that uh, took the club today ends up building that stadium. One of the other um, criticisms uh, of the fans is that there wasn't enough if, in, enough investment in players. You would argue, I guess, that was wrong. We spent 300 million pounds on players, uh, 150 million pounds net of the ones we would sell. I think, I don't know if that's second highest in the league during the time or third, but it's one of the top uh, amounts in all of the English Premier League, and you, you never read, read about that in the media. And is that disappointing for you because you believe you've spent this amount of money? Well, and, 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 and is it about what happened on the pitch? I think in the end it's all about how you do. You know, when we finished second the year before, people weren't uh, near as angry as they were this year. Liverpool fans are just uh, unbelievably strong supporters. They want to win. Um, I heard today that um, uh, it was quite a frantic morning here in Dallas, as I'm sure you know more than me, um, but I heard today that you had the funds to pay back the RBS debt and you were prepared to do that but weren't allowed to do it. Can you explain what happened there? I can't get into the details particularly, but I can confirm, yes, we did have the funds available to pay off RBS in its entirety, and between RBS and the uh, chairman and the uh, uh, employees that conspired against us, they would not allow us to pay off their debt. Are you able to understand why that was? I know exactly why, but they, they had the ability to, but this was, this was an organized conspiracy that went on over many months. Uh, and it consisted of the Royal Bank of Scotland, Martin Broughton, who wanted to uh, have a good PR event in his life. He's a Chelsea fan. He's not even a Liverpool fan. But he wanted to be seen as a guy that got rid of the, those Americans. So he sold it to another group of Americans. How does that make you feel um, when you, you quite obviously feel there's, a, I think the words are epic swindle, by people who essentially were your employees. How does that happen? How does it make you feel? We were paying them very high compensation and they essentially uh, conspired against us. And they're, I thought there were people that I thought were friends, there were people I thought were loyal, and I was wrong. Did you have buyers ready to take on this club? Was there more interest in what we've seen over the last few weeks? Well, the process was continually frustrated by uh, this uh, uh, chatter about uh, financial distress coming out of RBS. So the interested buyers that we knew would be the right type of buyers for this club. Look what's happened in Manchester City now with, with their new ownership. That's the kind of buyer we're trying to find for Liverpool. And those people uh, were scared off by the distress chatter and by the militant uh, organized uh, internet terrorist terrorism campaigns that were directed against uh, people who get, get involved. And were they out there, do you feel? Yeah, I, I know they were. Where does this, um, as far as um, you yourself now, I mean, do, do, you, do you sit back and, and ponder what's happened? Do you look at yourself and think, how, how did this happen? You know, I, I just want the truth to come out in the English courts and uh, you know, I, want, I, I wish I want the fans someday to. Uh, they won't get to know Tom Hicks, but I want them not to not think of Tom Hicks the way so many of them do right now, because that's just that's tragic.